Fun little fish. Yeah, it is Spinner, that thing just hammered it. And those things just come out of the water. I love them. Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Addicted Life. Today, it's showing the first signs of fall. We're getting our hands stinky and messy, and we're out here looking for some coho and some fall chinook. I got two great friends with me in the boat. Over here we have Mr. Nick Amato from Amato Publications, Salmon Trout Steelheader. We got Lucas Holmgren in the background there. And we're going out and giving it our all. We're casting some spinners, getting some stuff ready, getting some bait ready. We're gonna try to find ourselves some fall fish. It's September, September 2nd. It's really early, so we're hoping for a good day. We've already got a jack in the boat. We're having a good day so far. We're gonna go put some bait in the water and see what we can make happen. If you guys haven't already done so, go down here, give us a thumbs up, hit subscribe. Stay tuned, we're gonna have a lot of fun today. So going two different kinds of cures of eggs today. We got some of Nick's here, which look like a really nice, like, they look nuclear almost. They got that nice glow to them. They're going pretty small baits. And then I have some of mine, which are just a little bit of, a little bit of pro cure. Ooh, we're gonna sneak in some stink. I want to get a little bit of that on mine. Yes. Do something different just to try it. Yeah, let's do it on a few of them. Whoops. Let's do it on two or three of them. Maybe hit a couple of those. Okay. I just want to give them something different than what you guys got. Yeah. I don't blame you. So we got a little slamola powder. We got some sulfites we're gonna add to them. We're gonna just play around all day. We got a few shrimp that we're gonna add on here. And we're gonna see if the hover game's on. A couple different shrimps. See what I mean about getting stinky and messy. We're going for the whole shebang today. That's a trophy. So little is just that much of a... Uh, he's a fish he's, snob. Yeah, he's a fish snob because he's not even coming <laughs> and looking at this one. Goodness. Go tell ya. Little lingcod. All right, I got my birthday fish. Let's go <laughs> home. All right, everybody. So, second little Jackie Poo of the day. These things are pretty convenient sometimes. There's a lot of them in the river right now, it seems. But these are just little baby coho that come back into the river prematurely, but they still cut the same as a normal coho. You can keep more of them. And I tell you what, they are tasty as hell. Got slimy fingers. That was the goal. Yeah, man, bring it in. Woo, sweet, woo. Jack. Behind it, in there. Jack on. Way to go, dude. Those things are cool. Lift them in the boat. Bring them on in. I'll put mine in the log over here. Hey, hey, come on, little. Another shiny little dude. Nice. Tasty little morsel for birthday dinner. If you guys haven't already noticed, today is Lucas's birthday. So drop a comment below wishing him a happy birthday. If you haven't already, go over and check out Salmon Trout Steelheader. Any of the platforms. It's a big magazine out here in the Northwest. They have. Tell us a little bit about the, the Great Lakes and all the other magazines that you guys have. Yeah, so we uh, we got Salmon Trout Steelheader, which is Northwest and also kind of goes into Great Lakes anywhere Salmon Trout and Steelhead are. But we also have a magazine called Great Lakes Angler, uh, as well as Fly Fishing and Tying Journal. So uh, Nick Amato here in the boat today is the editor of both Salmon Trout Steelheader and Great Lakes Angler. And uh, you know, we have a lot of fun doing it. We got the magazines. Um, that ship out to anglers all over the country and uh, but we also got a website check them out salmontroutsteelheader.com and glangler.com you can read a ton of articles good stuff easy to read on the phone and, and a the computer. new YouTube channel and a new YouTube as well channel. so salmon trout steelheader on YouTube we'll drop a link in the description down below go check them out and again drop a thumbs up and leave a comment for this guy wishing him a happy birthday there we go Jackie Poo we are loading up jack style. Look at this little guy, he is just a fighter, isn't he? 
Well, I think there's a few of these bad boys in here. So I like to do here first is I like to try to bleed these little guys. And with a bigger fish, it's not as easy, but I like to try to bleed them before I go ahead and bonk them. That way that blood's still pumping a little bit from the heart. You get that first couple good gushes of blood out of there. And then I'll give them a little whack. Add them to the trophy box back here. We're, we're stewing them in White Claw today. The White Claw broke. So we're gonna have a nice raspberry flavor to them. Okie dokie, well, we're working hard. There's a, there goes some more fish. Seeing fish everywhere, having a little bit of a hard time to get them a bite. It's getting a little warm outside, it's about 11 o'clock, but we're finally going up to a spot we've been talking about all day. We're gonna go up, we're gonna soak some bait, we're gonna find some fish. There's fish all over the place, we just gotta get in front of them. I think up until this point, we've done pretty good on the jacks. We've got a pile of them back here, but we gotta quit zigging when we should zag and vice versa. So we're gonna stay at it. We're gonna get some fresh baits on here. We're gonna move up into a hole with a bunch of fish and we're gonna cross our fingers. We can mark one more species off. We're hoping for today, if it works out perfectly, is we're gonna hopefully get a coho, which we've already marked off the list. We're gonna get a Chinook and then hopefully a steelhead. So if we can make all of them happen, there goes a really nice one. Dang. If we can make that all happen, we're gonna take them home. We're gonna do a little taste test and just click that thumbs up for sure. If you like today's video, we're gonna keep fishing hard and let's hope for the best. So, what do you think? Jack or a sucker? Yeah, let's, see. let's just hope it's something okay here. Oh, dang, that thing ain't. Uh -oh. Ooh, hey. well, whatever he is, he's a strong fish. That thing is not giving up today. You got it? Did you lose it? No, he's good. Oh, man, he came up quick. Got a little worried there. Man, that was cool. Nick was. Nick was two seconds away from handing that rod to me so he could grab the sparkling water and uh, lift it up. Ooh, nice color. Nick, how long oh. you been doing this uh, hover fishing thing? Well, it's been a long time, actually. I used to do this a fair amount years and years ago, so it's exciting. It's one of those, you didn't invent it, but you were there. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, that's a nice green fish. Okay. So what we're doing guys, while we're really playing these out, is we're using 10 pound test here today, a fluorocarbon. So we're going really light, the water's clear, it's early season, a lot of pressure. And so he's really just kind of feathering this thing in so that we don't bust that leader after all this hard work. Oh, that is nice. I don't mean to get your hopes up, but that might be a hatchet. It's gonna, it's gonna materialize, that's gonna go right back. Oh, right yeah. into the net. Yeah, yeah buddy. <laughs> nice job, Nick. All right. That was awesome. Both keeper. Keeper. Keeper for eggs. Yeah. Look out, little. Cool. Awesome. So that's a nice hatchery fish here this time of year. You can only keep the hatcheries. This one's got a little bit of color, but we're going to take them take anyways. All right. That was exciting. Yeah, I'll tell was, you what. A I just strong fight it fish. was going to pop off at any time. Look at that Ooh. thing. Oh. Right in the beak. Good stuff. Well, we got a pretty typical average size fall Chinook. Fought like it was 20, 30 pounds. But some hard work paid off. We kept at it. it, it, it kind of how it always works too, right? As soon as we stop paying attention, right? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> stop paying attention. There it was. A nice hatchery fish. Speaking of jacks. That was funny. You know, they're jumping in the boat today. <laughs> nice quality specimen. Rip, rip the gill and uh, bleed them in the water. These things are so cool though. If anyone has the opportunity to go out and uh, fish for them with like light gear, I don't know what you'd use. Maybe like a little egg fly or something like that or a little nymph yeah, under. Ultra light and a bobber setup with like a single hook. Don't you guys make some the addicted eggs, little single eggs? Oh, yeah, we do the little soft You could do that. Yeah, I'd probably just use a little soft egg on a hook under a little float. Do it with an ultralight. These things are such good fighters. You know, that that's good size if it were a trout. So 
there's a lot of meat on them. Salmon snobs, you know, we like to stick up our nose and say that's a little fish, but it's really not. Guy's got some spunk. Dude, that's a good one. What the heck? Look at Van Dam. The LVD. Dude, that is a quality one. Oh, yeah. Oh, He's swimming away with it. Look at it. <laughs> Dude, that looks fun, man. <laughs> I'm about to tie on a bobber. All right, another one. Cha ching A little wackarooski. Oh my god, did you get yeah. a fish on that? <laughs> oh snagged. my goodness. I'm snagged. Kill that little bastard. Let's do the lift. Now he's starting to go. Oh. Goodbye. Hello. Goodbye. Oh, yeah. oh, he's a runner. He's a runner. Nice. Some good flies that might work. Oh, yeah. he's a jumper, dude. They want so badly to be a real coho, don't they? Yep. Oh, get him, dude. Get him. Get him. All right, so made it back home. We're gonna get these little bad boys whipped up. And tonight, we're doing a fun little recipe, but we're actually gonna flay these up at home. We have to be the live feed here in a couple hours. If you guys have never seen our live feed, it's on YouTube and it's on Facebook and it's the Addicted Live Feed. It's on the Addicted Fishing page on YouTube and Addicted Fishing Forum on Facebook if you've never seen it before. Stay tuned, we're gonna whip these bad boys out and then we're gonna head on down the road to Marlon's house. All right, everybody, well, live feed's over. It's been a long, hard, fishy day, but here we are giving it to you straight. We're gonna get our little pan out here. We got some butter, we got some Cajun seasoning, and we got some jack salmon here for a little late dinner, as honestly is what it is, it's about nine o'clock. Uh, if you guys have never seen it before, every Wednesday at about seven o'clock, 6.30, we do live fishing shows on YouTube and Facebook. So if you haven't ever checked that out, go down, be sure to tune in on those days and you can go back and watch some of those live feeds too. They're really fun and entertaining and you might learn something. And uh, if anything, you get a couple good laughs. So let's get this thing going here. Ooh, fire. So all we're gonna do mainly is one of the most simple little seasoning recipes here. I just got some Cajun seasoning here, kind of a blackened seasoning. And I'm just gonna give that bad boy a good little cover in there. A little bit of pepper. Keeping it simple, this stuff's gonna be tasty just by itself, so. Let that sit for just a little bit. I got a little more of this blackened seasoning, man. I like this stuff a lot. I like a good little spice, a little bit of Creole flavor in there. Shake on and injectable. Man. Some butter going here. I'll go flesh down first. Get that stuff nice and black and mmm, that already smells great. Now it's just a waiting game. I'm gonna let this cook about 10 minutes on this side. 
going to flip it over, get that skin a nice little crispiness so that it flakes off there easy. And, uh, mm, good thing I was hungry because this smells delicious. All right, everybody, let's turn this thing off. Give it about another two minutes on that skin side. Just kind of get that last little bit of it cooked. But this, these little guys are so much fun. We talked a lot about them today. Jacks are a great way to get out and get people into fish that have maybe caught a salmon before or a young kid. They eat just about any kind of presentation, jigs, spinners, everything. And we were lucky enough to get into a bunch of them today. So I'm gonna dig in here, see how it tastes. I know it's gonna be good. You guys are gonna have to stick around and find out. It's almost like a free salmon, really. Just these little tasty little morsels, great flavor. The perfect size, especially if you, you, know, you have a small household you don't have a whole family to feed, one of these will go perfectly for a two person meal or maybe two of them for, you know, we got two big guys or something. So I like to eat them as much as I can. Look at how perfect that looks. Yum. Let's give it a try. Oh, it's delicious. Well, I'm going to keep munching here, you guys. I appreciate you tuning in this week. If you guys haven't already, go check out Salmon Trout Sea Letter. It's been a long time business here in the Northwest and the Great Lakes Angler Magazine. It was so awesome having those guys along with us today, getting to share knowledge. And uh, Nick is one of the most well-rounded fishermen I think I've ever met, and he's been all over the place. So check them out. If you guys want to see more cool videos just like this one, go up here and hit this link to this next video. Be sure to hit that subscribe button smash that thumbs up and leave a comment below because you guys could be entered to be the comment of the day. Here's a comment of the day. Thank you so much for tuning in guys. You stay fishy. We'll see you out there.